have a look at root cuttings. Root cuttings is a great way to bulk up your plants and there's a lot of plants for example like this one Phlox uh, paniculata, the drumstick primula, there's pulsatilla, there's good old acanthus, uh, spinosus or mollus you can have, you can do clerodendron, you can even do some trees um, you know like rus and elanthus so there's a, a wide range and it's worth looking at what you can do a root cutting of um, so we're gonna have a go at the, the the primula and the acanthus today normally you would prepare them and lift them and cut some roots off the year before so then they put out nice young what we call juvenile roots which tend to grow better and produce a plant quicker so let's have a look at what we've got. As you can see here, you would just uh, knock out a plant. Well, I've, I've done one, just knocked it out of the pot. And so you end up with something like that. Well, this one's actually been dug up out of the garden. Now, the problem with it, as you can see, there's loads of soil. And what we really want to do is to wash that soil away. One of the problems you can get with primulas is that you can get vine weevil. And so you have to check to make sure you haven't got any vine weevil in it. So what I've got here is just uh, some water in a bucket. So uh, it's a bit chilly outside, so this could be a bit cold, but we'll, we'll give it a good wash and see what we'll end up with. So give that a good old swish round and wash as much soil away as you possibly can on your root cutting. And as you can see, when it comes out, you've got something a little bit like that. And look at the amount of roots on that. There's lots of potential cuttings. And so all we've got to do now is to actually cut them up. Now there's a couple of ways of actually doing root cuttings. You can either do lay them flat in the compost and they'll kind of find their own way up. Uh, or you can put them the correct way up. So obviously the top of the root at the top and the bottom of the root downwards. Some people believe that that is a better way because the polarity of the cutting is better of the root so it knows to grow down you know uh, with gravity geotropic response downwards and, and to grow up so let's have a look at both methods so if i was doing the one where you lay them flat i'd put a little bit of compost obviously would break it up as normal break up the compost pop it in your tray and this time i'm not quite gonna you know i'm not gonna go sort of uh, too full on this so i'm just going to take out a little bit because we want to put the roots in there and you want them to be covered. So I'm actually only going to put um, just about that much in the tray. I'm just going to just sort of level it up a little bit, but not going too mad. Just something like that. That would be fine. You can see it's, it's, it's well below the top. I'm not overfilling and cutting back this time. And then what I'm going to do is with my knife, we just take the cutting now. Uh, you want to leave some, obviously, so that the, the, the plant's going to go. I'm just going to cut them away, and I'm going to cut them into about five centimetres long and push them in like that, okay? Now this time, I don't have to worry which way up they go. If I was doing the uh, polarity method, I would have to make sure that I've got that at the bottom and that at the top, and you'll see what we do is we cut the top one flat if we're using that method and we put a slight angle on the bottom one so we know which way up it is but on this one i'm just going to pop them in the tray about say about five centimeters would be good and obviously i'm looking for something that's got a bit of thickness because you need enough food in it to be able to survive put down a root and grow so that one's getting on the thin side but i'll use it but that one is just too thin. I'm going to put that to one side. So I'm just going to remove a few more. Again, about five centimeters. Pop them in. That's getting on the low side, so I can't really take that one. Uh, just get a couple more off this, and that was pretty much a full one as it is. And this one, we'll just put another row in there, just slightly. Maybe slightly stagger them if you want to. Another one there, and a couple more, and then that will be this primula about done. There we go. So move those forward a bit, just there. That row into there, and then there we go. That's our root cuttings in.
Then what I'm going to do, I'm just going to put a little bit of a a little bit of a layer of compost over the top of that. Again, not going too mad. A little bit of a layer. And what I'll do is I'll screed that off. Okay, like that. So I'll just screed it. Just give that a slight, very slight tamping down just with the board. And then I'm going to top it with a bit of gravel. So I'm just going to get some gravel. And we'll just put a little bit of gravel over the top. A bit of grit, if you like, would do it nicely. Pop that on there. Just sort of do that. And then we'll just again, just give that a bit of a screed, just to make sure that we've got a reasonable covering. And there we go. That's sort of got that all ready. And that'll hold the moisture, especially in the spring. And uh, it'll help keep a few weeds down and uh, that will help a lot. So that's the method. Obviously you're going to pop a label in, Primula denticulata, and on today's date we've got the uh, 14th of January and put your initial on the back. So that's the first method. The next method we're going to use is the with the polarity. So in this particular one we're going to have the cuttings upright. So I'm going to tap it out. So this is an acanthus Okay, this is slightly spiny, so it's the acanthus spinosus. And again, I'm going to do exactly the same thing. I'm going to let it kind of fall apart. We'll take out the bits we, we don't want and see how much growth it's made. Now, this one's a pot, so it may not have as much on it as if we were lifting it from the ground. Okay, so we'll just kind of knock off what we can. You might have to just sort of break that off a little bit, or you might have to get the fork and break it. So we'll just take that down a little bit and what we'll do is we'll have a look at it. So on a, on, a, on a plant you get great big roots off something like this. So what I'm going to do again is give that all a wash. Give that a good old swish round and then We'll have a look, hopefully be able to investigate and see what we've got in there. So here we go, we're beginning, the roots are beginning to sort of materialise. And on this one I'm only going to take a couple of cuttings, but you can see here there is some material and it's incredible how much it produces. So I'm going to use this little bit here on the side, which has really grown quite well. Just going to break that off a little bit actually and uh, I'll leave the other one because there's not masses of root on that so I'm going to leave that to be to, to grow on if you like and so that's one so I'm going to put that to one side and pop that up in a minute and I'm going to use this to show you how you would do a cutting bearing in mind you'll have much bigger roots if you've got uh, if you've got a plant lifted from the ground so we'll just get down to here you can see there's already a piece there Put that to one side and we'll just separate that. We can move all that can go back into the, into the pot to put on the compost heap. So we'll just move that all to one side and we'll deal with that in a second. So all the old debris. And then what we'll do is we'll have a look at the cuttings. So what we've got here You've got, that's the top, that's the bottom. So what I'm going to do is to cut it flat on the top and I'm going to cut it at an angle. If you want to cut away from you, that's fine. Cut at an angle at the bottom. So I can see that that's the top and that's the bottom. Okay, so I'll put that to one side and then I'll get another one. And sometimes you can get four or five cuttings out of one. Um, on this one, I'm just going to cut that fairly near the plant and you can see I'm going to get at least another one out of this. I'm going to cut it at an angle. So that is number two. And then I'm just going to have one more because I, there is a little plant starting to grow here and I don't want to destroy you know, all of it. So all I'm going to do is just cut, leave a little bit so that plant can be another one. And then I'm going to cut that down to about five centimetres. 
So now we've got our we've got our three cuttings, okay, and I've put a slanted cut on the bottom so I know which is which. Just a bit of tidy up. And then once again, I'm going to just now fill up the pot, break up the compost a bit, fill up the pot, pop it in. And this time I can, you know, fill it up pretty level. I'm not going to firm it too much because it is uh, a soilless compost. So when it comes to putting the when it comes to putting the cuttings in, you can either push them in or make a hole with your finger or make a hole with a stick. I'm just going to use a stick, push that in push them there so that they're not far below the top of the compost, near, nearly level actually in this case. I'm going to put another one and so I'm going to put three so they're about 120 degrees apart. Okay, just double checking that one. Yep, that's that. So pop those three in, just have a little tap and then all I'm going to do is get some grit, put some grit over and that will Finish that one over. That will finish that one. Just sort of level it up again. Okay, a tiny bit more. And there you go. You've got that. Just need to put the label in. Okay, so we've got acanthus spinosus. And what you're going to do is these will just go somewhere. They could go outdoors, they could go in a cool glass house, would work very well and just leave them in there over winter and uh, in the spring just you know so keep keep and keep them moist increase a little bit of moisture in the spring and they, you'll see them they'll start to grow so they'll tell you what's happening once they start to grow make sure they're nice and established in good plants and then you can separate them and pop them up okay so that's that one and with the other two and with this all i need to do now is to pop them up and that will give me uh, another th three plants. So what I want you to do is to have a go at this at home. If you've got an acanthus or a primula, uh, a pulsatilla, that's a primula denticulata, or a pulsatilla, an anchusa, or something with a quite a thick fleshy roots. Now if you're really stuck, uh, then of course to simulate it, you could use something like a dandelion just to show, not that you want to propagate dandelions, but it's just to show you can do a root cutting, okay? And so something like that, if you've got some horseradish or anything that's got a sort of a bit of a, a you know, a, a, a sort of a root that you can chop up and demonstrate it. So that's what I'd like you to do, so why not give it a go? And uh, if you've got an electronic portfolio, upload it to your portfolio.